Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Willow Pill. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo, Photo Review. Review. <laughs> and today we're going to be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of Wait, where's Raven? Well, unfortunately she passed away, but we are sending flowers to her family and I'm here in her loo. In her loo. In I loo feel like you're always loo. in a lot of loos. You're like Lululemon. Do you know her? She's, yes. She's a crazy girl. Today we have our very special guest, season 14 winner, Willow Pearl. This is my first time doing fashion photo review. I'm so excited. I've watched this since I was, I think, four. Okay, calm down. And how old um, are you? <laughs> I'm six, yeah. so. Beautiful. Willow, I just want you to realize that you don't have to be everyone's friend. So you can actually be mean if you oh, decide. Oh, I don't plan on it. Okay, good. Yeah. So you know what's up. Oh, I know what's up. I'm ready. You know what's up. <laughs> what we're discussing today is the reunion episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 15, which is always really fun. This is when all the girls come together. Sitting, dramatic. And they're ready. And the look can be anything you want. Yeah, you can have a mermaid tail on, which I hope I see. I also expect a lot of arguments. Wigs might be ripped off. I expect looks. I expect the fantasy. Next episode is the finale. Yeah. So tune in Friday on MTV and watch RuPaul execute me and remove my carcass from the building. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Are you ready? Hold Let's on, I'll be ready in a minute. You like need... Now I'm ready. Yay! Here we go. Bring on the first bitch. We celebrate the biggest cast of the biggest season ever, and they are ready to let loose. Let's bring our first queen to the stage, Irene Dubois. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, work, bitch. This is really it's giving like little spines. Spinal cord. Yeah. I thought those were laces going up the boots, mm -hmm. but they're actually the little like vertebrae spine material. I mean, she wasn't messing around. She was like, okay, oh. I left first, so therefore I should come and serve a look. Oh, I love the contacts. There's a lot yeah. of detail. These gloves are very... I love the earpiece. The makeup is stunning. Mm -hmm. She looks airbrushed as... F and it's brave to sit for hours in a corset. I do love this little sleek do, it's fine. Yeah. Like it totally works for me. Miranda Priestly. Like, I love gray anything. Mm -hmm. My only like complaint is that this is quite similar to the look she got eliminated in, oh. which is the only look we got to see her in. My only complaint, where are her stockings? I kind of like it. I like that there's like you a You like it? There's like a little bit of bush coming out. Bush and rash is not a look. I'm into <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, maybe bush, but not rash. With something so beautiful and so sculpted and almost pristine and value, I'm, I'm sure she spent a lot of money, I oh, would have yeah. thrown a stocking on it. Sometimes I'm a little bit classic that way. Some costumes just need a little stocking. Classic means old. Interpret it however <laughs> way you wish. I could have done with just some like body oil. Some things body shimmer will not cover. I think that Irene Dubois deserves a toot. Yes, I give Irene a toot. Next we bring to the stage Princess Puppy. Oh, oh what's happening? I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I kind of love it. I f***ing love this. This is actually something I would wear in drag for sure. This harkens back to a day when Forever 21 first opened, and you would go to like the area that had the red tag sales, which brought everything down to about five ninety nine. Then right? she has a crystal pump. And the crystal pump. I love jeans and drag. We need more jeans and drag. I agree. I just love that it's a big like middle finger, and the fresh out of the bag hair is perfect. Oh, this hair is hideous. People are probably gonna get upset because we love this. The effort level is quite low. <laughs> I love. But if it. you're able to make the statement, you're able to do it. I get it. It's just funny. It's, it's funny. Be funny. It, it brought a smile to my face. Yeah. And honestly, these days I don't smile very much. So I thank her. My only critique is I wish that she would have gone even more Cheap. plain with the makeup. <laughs> because the makeup is very drag. Yeah. I almost wish that she would have toned it down to really give us the full pedestrian fantasy. And this god awful yellow. It's oh, it's so good. It's giving uh, me top model contestant. <laughs> yeah, you know yes, about that. Yes, I do. That's exactly it. On the nose. She went to her local mall. This is like Old Navy 
right here. I'm living. Toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage sugar and spice. Oh wow! Ooh, oh my God! Oh la 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 la! Honey, they came with corseted oh. underpinnings, inches, yes. human, gorgeous makeup. They were like, we are not just Bratz dolls today. We are mm -hmm. glamour girls. I girls. love the earpieces are so cute. I also love that it's a very silly and fun reference, mm. but it's done so well. It's like everything is executed in a very drag way. This is a reference to the Lizzie McGuire movie. Hilary Duff Americana and Hilary Duff Italiano. Gotcha. Love when Hilary Duff was on television as a child, yes. I was doing drugs in bathhouses. So was I. I was only about nine. Drag queens must have groomed you. Yeah. All I know is that they look gorgeous. They're always kind of stronger together. Mm. And if I looked at them individually, I'd be like, oh, very nice looks. Mm -hmm. But together, it gives me a whole story. I give them a toot. Toots from me. Up next to the stage, we bring Amethyst. I don't really know what to think of this. I'm not sure if the ra raccoon is a reference to something. Maybe it is. It's something. It's something. Yeah, I don't love um, pleather and velvet together. They're both very textured fabrics and the textures are kind of in, in a fight. I feel like the bodysuit is a little bit baggy on her, which would have made the velvet stand out a little bit more if, if, if it were more sleek and tight, if she would have actually worn like maybe actual latex or something. But I just feel like the whole thing looks a little bit like, ooh, look at these fun, shiny fabrics, but look how baggy they are on my body. Yeah, the fit's not super great. I don't really love when I look at an outfit and I'm not sure what's going on. I wish she would have just like left the raccoon out. Or made the outfit all about the raccoon. More raccoon. I've said this for years, but we need more raccoon in fashion. Um, Absolutely. The hair is fun. I like the hair is very like Italian mom. So is the makeup. Yeah. She's giving us an Italian mom with a bodiless raccoon. Something has to go. It's yeah. Either the raccoon or the clips, I always say. I always oh, say that. Oh, I've said it for years. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give a boot to this. I think I'm going to give this a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Robin Fios. Ooh. Shoes. It's very slutty. The entire ass cheeks are out. All the way. Um, she could pretty much be getting railed on the dance floor. I That's always a good thing. I really like this hair a lot. I like the asymmetrical yeah. bang. Mm -hmm. I like the black stripes in the yellow. It's hot. Mm -hmm. I love drag that's just hot. I mean, yeah. as you can tell, I'm just dressed trashy hooker right now, and I, that always makes for good drag, I think. Agreed. There are some problematic things for me on this outfit. Like, it's a little bit, like, poochy and weird, and, like, it gathers funny in certain areas. Like, yeah, there are some slight fit You know problems. what I'm saying? Looking at it close, I can see some of that fabric is gathering and pinching in different areas. I really like that shoe. It is everything. Very, Look very at how cute. nicely sanded down her heels and ankles are. And her are feet look good. Moist. Her feet look You gotta moist. have good-looking feet if you're not gonna wear tights. Absolutely. And I could lick those. What about you? Yeah, yeah definitely lickable. Lickable ass. It's doing all the things that an ass should do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that hair is good. I give Robin Fius a toot. I give her a toot. Next we bring to the stage Aura Mayari. Mm. Oh, wow. It looks nice. I'm not quite sure what it is. Like trench biker jacket yeah. moment. It looks super comfortable. Yeah, it looks comfy. It looks nice. Right? It's very white. It's hard to do in drag. It looks very clean and pristine. I don't I'm like chaps in scene. general. I'm not a chap person. And I especially hate it when there's one chap. I don't get it. You like more than one chap. I don't like the one legs or the one chap trend that's kind of going on right now. To me, it just looks it's like you forgot the other leg. I don't really know what she's trying to say with this outfit, but it's nicely made. Looks beautiful on her. You know, I'm partial to gray or mm -hmm. white. As a, she looks so as good a hair in that, color. that signature gray. And her makeup looks stunning. Mm -hmm. oh, another, her makeup is next level. I love seeing another Asian girl serve. I love this outfit. I would probably wear a version of this simply because it looks comfortable. I, in drag, like to be comfortable. Obviously. So comfy right now. <laughs> Soy comfy. I give Aura Mayari a toot. I give Aura Mayari a soft toot. Next we bring to the stage, Jax. Ooh. This is really cute. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and say this is the best Jax has probably looked this season. I really like this hair on her. Mm -hmm. It looks really, really pretty. Her makeup looks the softest and 
It just looked all season. Mm -hmm. These colors are really wonderful on her, the coppers and the blacks. I thought this was a dress at first, and I'm realizing it's like over the arm kind of doll piece. And I love the chains in it. I don't need those glasses. I wish she would have taken them off and we could see how pretty her face looks right now. I don't love this stripper heel with the- No, it needs a pump. The look has lots of like classical elements to it and the, the shoe is kind of hookery. I mean, I love a, a stripper hooker shoe any day, of yeah. course, but this wasn't the one to wear. You need to wear one without the straps. And Raven is one of those people who really hates ankle straps. Usually I'm like, whatever. But this time I'm like, maybe not that shoe, sis. Couldn't you have just found a pump or something? Pump would have been perfect. Tie in some of that copper. But everything else from like the shoulders up, I totally in the door, but it's not enough for me and I'm gonna go mm. ahead and give her a boot. It's a two for me. Next we bring to the stage, Malaysia, baby doll, Fox. I oh. love, wait, wait, isn't this what she walked in with? Almost. She walked in with like an orange fox version of this. This is definitely more elevated. We've seen a lot of gowns from her this season. I wish it was something else, but this does look very darling on her. It is all foxtails. Everything looks really expensive. For me, it's a little bit too soon to remind people of like your first entrance looks. This is something that you do when you come back to All Stars. This would have been a different moment for me. I'm not a big fan of referencing yourself on the show. I'd rather be surprised by something new that we can remember you by. That being said though, she looks- She looks great. great. She looks so pretty. Her makeup is stunning. She looks moist. Lots of detail. I just kind of want to nuzzle up in her bosom. It's a toot. It's a toot for me, yeah. Up next, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha knew what was up, baby. Yeah. She showed up. She was like, okay, I'm gonna keep the signature. You guys know what I do, but I'm also gonna elevate it. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of like this clueless moment, but I'm, I'm gonna give you proportion. I'm gonna give you interest. I'm gonna give you saturated colors. I'm gonna give you a good wig and the makeup is done tonight. She looks absolutely stunning. And it looks like a really beautiful satin or silk, really well thought out. It's on brand. Yeah. I think this is what Marsha thought she looked like the whole show. <laughs> and this oh is, God. now she's actually able to deliver. Mm -hmm. She has the experience and the money. Yeah, she's gotten a few deliver gigs. deliver it now. She's heard all the critiques. The makeup is right. Yeah, she looks mm -hmm. fabulous. I mean, this is definitely one of my favorite looks of the evening. It is yes. so on brand, so lovely, and she looks just beautiful. I wouldn't change a thing. So yeah. I give her an absolute toot. I give her a toot. Next, we bring to the stage, Selena Estides. Oh, it's very Selena Quintanilla. Ooh. I like this hair on her a lot. This hair is mm -hmm. really cute. What do you feel about the pink tool with the white dress? I don't mind it. For a pop of color, for a bit of interest, there's already some really cool sculptural things that are going mm -hmm. on. I love how all the earrings and all the jewelry and the and the diamonds all kind of go together mm -hmm. and match. I love that. She's definitely giving us Selena vibes. I feel it. And I don't mind the pop of pink. I think that actually adds a little bit of interest and fun to it. I like yeah. that the pink matches the makeup as well. It's much more elevated than a lot of the stuff she's done. It's very simple. She tends to go kind of throw everything into the bag. This is scaled down, Selena. Whoever made this costume did a fantastic job because I know that that mm -hmm. fabric that already has the rhinestones on it are really kind of impossible to sew. The whole thing looks really beautiful on her and I think that Selena Estides deserves a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage, Lucy LaDuca. The color choice is striking. She looks kind of like a Marvel superhero from the 80s. I like this cat suit underneath. It really shows off her assets. I would love to see Lucy in a different hair. She has many, many of this wig. The yellow is giving me like caution, street crossing vibes, <laughs> but everything is made very, very beautifully. Yeah, that's all I can see is like a really well-made costume. Yeah. But yeah, the hair to me is like, okay, that's cool. I would have done something a little bit more sleek with it. I think it's like way too Dolly Parton for this rave drag thing that she's attempting. Yeah, I think the same hair that Aura was wearing would go well with this. Mm -hmm. Or this shorten is, the whole thing. I think I'm a little confused about the point of view. It's reading a little bit superhero, a little bit construction worker. Country star. Bit... This is very much on brand for her and I understand it. Otherwise, the color, painfully citrus, yellow, greenish sequin thing. Love that. And I like it combined with the white, the beautifully made costume, and it's very much within Lucy LaDuca's thing. It's her brand. I'm a little lost in the message and the point of view. I'm gonna say this is a boot for me. I give it a toot. 
Next, we bring to the stage our top four. <laughs> First, we bring to the stage from the top four Lux Noir London. Oh. In love. Oh, in love. Wow. In love. In love. This in is love. perfect. Just, it's gorgeous. It's beyond. She gets it. The color yes. scheme, the shoes, the simplicity, the complexity, the <coughs> color, the bright, bright, mm -hmm. bright fuchsia with a sheen on it. It's on the eyes. It's on the lips. It's in the outfit. It's on the shoes. Her skin Ooh, looks, yo, looks like amazing. molten chocolate ganache. She looks like a f delight. I'm obsessed with her nails, the mm. white nails and the white toenails, and her teeth look so white. The simple, simple earring. It's just so simple, but it's saying a lot to me. I'm into and the dress. Hair. Oh, the hair is so oh, the crisp. The hair, the hair. Thank you. And the makeup is just really, really stamped. It's very classic, but it's also edgy and kind of pop. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of understated, but mm -hmm. just really giving all the statement all at once. I love that juxtaposition, if you will. This is what you can wear to a reunion and be comfortable. Comf is a new <laughs> She's comfy, comfy, comfy. Two. Toot. And next we bring to the stage Mistress Isabel Brooks. Ooh, I love blue. Oh, she's giving. I love, I love that she it. gives so much drag. All of it. It's so draggy. All the rhinestones, the sequins, the chains. All of it. The self-branding on the stomach, the titties, the makeup. I've seen her makeup up close in person. It's like nothing I've ever seen. You can definitely see that she's put a lot of time, energy, work. <clears throat> she is an excellent painter. This outfit fits her beautifully. I love mm -hmm. blue. All the rhinestones, all size 30s, giving you all the most reflective surfaces that she can give. Mm -hmm. The gold chains, all of it. Love also, it, love I it. I love, obviously, a red lip with a blue eye. It's oh, the yeah. This is the sluttiest thing you can wear. Oh, absolutely. And I'm not a huge fan of uh, the logo on the band, but you know, she's done that quite a lot through her looks. There's something that kind of feels a little bit like very champion about it, like a, a wrestler or a, a boxer. Yeah. Whereas this sort of belt. Thing. I think this is very much on brand for her. She looks beautiful. I give Mistress Isabel Brooks a toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage Anitra. It's a little gaudy. It's the studs and the two pinks and the patent leather and the swirls and the rhinestones on the hair and the silly earrings. There's a lot going on, but it's drag. It's fun. I think maybe just like one element needs to be taken away. My eye doesn't quite know where to go. But she looks like a fun gal. Her makeup looks super pretty. Her hair, that sleekness, for sure, into it. Is it something that I was anticipating? Maybe yes. I've never really had like real big, huge, huge like moments of fashion with Anitra. Does she look great? Yeah. I don't know, we see a lot of irony in what she does. Sometimes it needs that. Do I love the color pink? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Do I like it against black, shiny things? Absolutely. Always. Her makeup looks incredible. It really does. Looks, looks like the best that she's had it all mm -hmm. season. And I love that hair. I love that trick. I love, I love that. Hair. There are elements to this that I absolutely love. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a two. I'm going to give it a two. Up next, we bring to the stage Sasha Colby. Oh, oh the hair oh, is touching the floor. Oh, I mean, come on. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. These wow. contacts. Wow. I love the toes and the shoes. The toes look good. Look at the that inches hair. and the ponytail. Uh, and wow. it just swings, bitch. She's got stones. She's got sheer. She's got titties. She's got bodycon fantasy. She's a goddess. Yeah. Those My god. Those blue contacts remind me of old school drag. I've seen so many queens with those. And I haven't seen them in a while. Maybe we should bring them back. I think we should bring them back. Yeah, I think Sasha Colby has started the, the trend again. It's like, girl, we see him. It literally is like swimming pools lit at night. The only thing is, I think she did wear a similar bodysuit during the lip sync Lollapurusa. Mm -hmm. And so we have seen this, at least from the waist up on her before. Mm -hmm. This is definitely an elevated version. I think she's sickening. I mean, she's My God, this is on. Wheels. I love her makeup. It's just like smoldering and sexy and moist. It's a toot for me. It's I love a toot. It. Trey Dollar! Toes. Toes.
toes. Toes. Just suck on them. Phalanges. Can I suck your toes? Absolutely never. You can suck mine. I'll suck your toes. They're very clean. I mine shower. Are disgusting. There's a lot of toes. Painted toes. toes I love a toe in drag. Toes. If you've got good toes, show them off. Even if you look like a toe, Congratulations, Viva Foot Fetish. This was the episode for you. Our, Our top two of the week is... is Lux, Lux Noir, Noir London! London. Yeah. Gibbing, oh, serving. Yes. She is in Valentino pink, darling. Yes. The She's earrings, got the, the bow, hair, the, the nails, the, the toes. Oh, can I mention? I think my favorite thing in the world is a gap tooth. Mm -hmm. And she has the best teeth in the business. But she could fit like a full thumbnail in between the gap and her teeth. Mm -hmm. That's how sexy she is. So will we see you next week? I don't know. Tune in and find out, you little sh Bye. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.